I'm about to get the kids it's afternoon from school so I'm gonna make them a quick afternoon snack and the last time I posted the pink hustle um, some of you wanted to know the recipe it's very simple to make so I have here three cups of all-purpose flour I have some green onions regular onions and then this is my two cup of water two cup of water and then I have baking powder and then salt okay so this is very easy some people will use yeast but I will be using um, baking powder but if you don't have um, yeast baking powder is okay too uh, most people use yeast but I don't have it so baking powder will work so these are the ingredients three cups of flour okay half a tablespoon of yeast I don't have that dry yeast I don't have that so one teaspoon of uh, baking powder so because I don't have the yeast, I'm just going to make it um, baking powder only. And then one teaspoon of um, salt to taste. And then onion and two cup of water to mix everything together. Then you put it down for it to rise. Okay, so here we go. The onions will go in just before we fry it. So you don't put this in after you mix everything. So basically you just add everything like so. Okay, here is my teaspoon of baking powder, and I'll make it two teaspoons of baking powder instead and then of a tablespoon, a teaspoon of salt to taste. That's it, and then you basically add all your dry ingredients together. It's very simple to make. Okay, and then you make a little well and you put your water in it. It asks for two cups of water, but I don't use it all at once. So I'm just going to put some here, leave some, mix it and add it when needed, okay? I don't want it too runny, but um, it's totally up to you. But that's basically it. And then you put it there to rise. And then when it's um, done rising, just before, you, just before you fry it, you add in your green onions and regular onions for that crunchy, savory taste. Like I said, this can be eaten as a savory snack. Sprinkle it with some sugar and eat it as a, as a sweet snack. So this is the consistency now. And I still have a little bit of water left. It's not much, so I'm gonna add it to it. So I did use a two cup of water. Remember when, when it rises, it's gonna be a little, um, fluffier and um, softer so let me add a little bit of water I have left to it here it is see the little bit of the two cup so adding it and I'm just gonna thoroughly mix it in And then once you think you've mixed it well enough, you just cover it and let it rise in a dark place. Cover it and let it rise in a dark place for about 30 minutes or so, you know. And then it's time to fry. So I'm going to do just that. And then when I come back, I'll show you the next step, which is to add the green onions and the regular onions. And then we start deep frying it. Okay, so this is the consistency now. So pink also is very easy to make. Doesn't take that much time. It's the consistency now. See. So like I said in the other video, I'm not so perfect with the with the making the hole, but you're supposed to just pick it, make a hole in it, and drop it. But I'm not getting it to work, so I do it however I can. Sometimes I I pick it up and I do this. <laughs> just to get it how I want it okay so yeah guys so thank you and I'll come back 
when it's been risen for about 30 minutes and I'm ready to fry. Bye bye. There it is. It has risen a bit. See? It's now a little bit softer. It's fluffy to the touch. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add in the, the onions. So we pour all that in. That will give it a crunchy taste. So you mix it in before you fry it. And there you go. Your pincasso batter is ready. It's ready. So, of course, I'll try and show you when it's in the deep um, fry, when I'm deep frying it. But yeah, that's pretty much your pincasso snack for the kids after school snack. So, there we go. Later. Here's the batter. I'm dipping my hand in water so it's not so sticky. So I grab a piece. Okay. I'm going to try and do it the way I'm supposed to. <laughs> oh, that, that's, it's not going to happen. But I'm going to try it. Let's have to turn it off for me. <coughs> so guys, I tried with the normal shape. I couldn't, so I just put it in any shape. <laughs> it looks good. It looks good. It looks good. That's all that matters. See the onions in there? It fries beautifully, golden, brown, crispy on the outside. Such an easy snack to make for the kids. Even in the morning, you can do that. But I mean, it's deep fried, and we don't want to be eating that every day. But it's a nice treat for the kids when you can make it. So it looks done, golden brown. Okay. Just put it in here, and this, these ones I just put in. So that obviously those ones are not done, but I'm taking the ones that are done out. I think she wants to be in the kitchen. She can't even walk. She came back. Just leave her. She can't even walk. So that's it, guys. So I'm gonna fry another batch, and I'll come back when we're ready to enjoy it. Okay? <laughs> Simple. I gave her a. I told her I gave her a. Mom, should I? Yeah. And this is the last batch. Thank you, Natalia, for helping me with the camera. Mommy. You're welcome. Cookie came off. She's hiding good. And she goes to the kitchen. So, these ones are done. So we will in first. So we're gonna add them here. Add how many we have over there. Don't they look yummy? Don't they look yummy? So yummy. So yeah guys, that's about it. I'm gonna show you when we're eating it, okay? Thank you. So here is the final look of the pink casso. So I'm gonna serve it. I'm gonna break into one so you can see how it looks in the inside, okay? So we're serving it. I'm gonna sprinkle some sugar on it. Sorry guys don't have a spoon so my hand will do it <laughs> okay so beautiful okay so this is how it looks in the inside look at it see the green onions regular onions it looks amazing so you take a bite you dip it back in the sugar and you take a bite let's see how this looks in the inside So hot. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, yes, guys, this is Pinka. So, 
thank you so much and as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already and until next time smile pink castle school snack after school snack very easy to make and not so bad okay so thank you bye bye